Tis the season for squash and venison, and we're learning some great recipes with both ingredients today with Chef Matt Winters. He's a corporate chef for Festival Foods. Good morning to you. Good morning. You want to start with the squash? Yep, we've got some spaghetti squash this morning. This is really a fun one. I like it. It's, just, it's got a great flavor to it. Uh, we're going to do a little saute. Okay. Uh, we've pre-cooked it. Uh, we just split the squash, take the seeds out, mm -hmm. pop it in the oven, cook it for about 45 minutes until it gets soft. Cool it down. And then we're just going to put a little bit of butter in here, some cranberry. Fresh cranberries Fresh butter. cranberries. Tis the season for that as well. Okay. So let's get those a little toss. Let them start to warm up. Mm -hmm. While those are going, we're going to add a little bit of scallion. We're getting to the end of the season for those if you're growing them at home on your own. <laughs> so that gives us some nice color and flavor together. And then just a little bit of zest, a little orange zest. Oh, okay. Gives it a bit of zing. And I like to add just a little sugar. If you could hand me you that bowl of sugar there. Brown sugar? Yep, just a little bit. And we'll let that all kind of melt together. Then we'll form a syrup. Oh, it, the colors are amazing. So now that you see the cranberries are just starting to pop. Yep. That's the time to put your squash in. Just scrape it right out of there. Okay. And that'll just come right out. We're going to save this because we're going to use that shell for our dish. Love it. So how long does this take to kind of saute up then? Uh, well, what you're seeing here, just a matter of two to three minutes to saute it up. It's kind of warming it up a little bit, yeah. Yep, just need to get it warm. So we'll just give it a little bit of a stir and incorporate everything. About a minute and a half. And we are ready to go. That is gorgeous. And you've got some venison stew bubbling away over here. Yep, we've got some venison stew. Uh, bow season is a great time to pick up a little venison yeah. if you're running around out in the woods. <laughs> and uh, this is a, a quick, easy one. You can do this a couple of different ways. This mm -hmm. one I just threw together in a pot. Okay. You know, chop up all your ingredients. You don't have to be fancy. Throw it in with the butter. Cook it around a little bit. Add some flour for thickening. Add some liquid, it can be stock, it could be water, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And then I like to cheat and use a mix to add a little extra flavor. I used onion soup mix today yeah. and we'll just let it simmer away. Um, if you want to do it in a crock pot, you can do the same thing. Just throw in a crock pot and let her go. Sure, there you go. Well, let's get these beautiful dishes plated up so everyone can see the, the finished product. This is gorgeous. Okay, this is our spaghetti squash. And we do have both of these recipes on our website. I'll set this one down up here. If you want to go ahead and plate the stew, that up there. Gorgeous. And here's the finished stew. Oh, perfect for fall. Thank you so much, Chef Matt Winters. Uh, oh, my pleasure. Corporate Chef for Festival Foods. We'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.